happening here for those who can't be here. Let me get into my screen sharing here. Let's go with that. Let's just get a little zoom action here. Can probably put that there, I suppose. Okay. This is just a, this is just a, a generic Moodle course shell I created this yesterday. And all it has in it, all I've done to this course shell essentially is just rename this, this uh, news forum into what we typically call it, news and announcements. And I've made 10 identical assignments on the front page. And we'll get into why and wherefore how I did these uh, a little in a, in a uh, later segment. Um, speaking of segments, though, by the way, um, we're only going to be meeting today about the, the natural uh, aggregation today, but we've got a number of other topics. You can see, yes, this is an actual piece of paper. Um, we're going to be covering uh, those in, in the near future. So today talking about um, the aggregation method and later on talking about why we've, we're making these assignments and how, how they appear in your gradebook. So in my course shell, I go to the administration block and down to grades. This will look familiar here when you see uh, the grade spreadsheet. Excuse me. <coughs> okay, and of course, if we had students enrolled, there'd be vertically down this left column their names, but there's no students enrolled in this course shell. You look across this row up here, there's your uh, week one assignment, week two, et cetera, et cetera. We set these up. Uh, it's 10 weeks, 10 assignments, and each of those are 10 points to keep it simple. And um, briefly, um, historically, we had quite often had, had taken course shells into the, the, the aggregation method known as simple weighted mean of grades for a number of reasons, uh, fairly often, to fix little little uh, niggling little issues we've had with, with uh, grade book settings in the past. And sometimes we, we found some success in the past of moving the aggregation method over to simple weighted mean of grades. But the whole, the whole context of, of this webinar and the whole context of these series of webinars we're going to be doing is about simplicity and responding to a lot of, a lot of questions and concerns and, and statements and comments about the Moodle gradebook kind of getting really complex and how to use the Moodle gradebook in a simple, easy to understand fashion for both uh, instructors and students. So we found that it's probably going to be best to move the system default aggregation method over to what was recent, until recently known as um, uh, sum of grades. And now it's called uh, natural weighting. So again, I'm in my, I see someone else just dropped in here. That's cool, thanks. Um, again, I'm in, I'm in this course shells uh, grade book. And I've just jumped into it. And this drop down up here under view, if I switch over to categories and items, I'll show you how you can A, make sure if you want to be on the natural application method to switch over to it, and B, just to verify if you think you already are. Um, it's a little bit buried, but Again, in this course shell, all I've done is create these assignments so that they appear in the gradebook. And I haven't made any gr any gradebook categories yet. We'll, we'll cover that in a future segment. But so the default overall overarching category for this course is called what the course itself is called, the Web webinar workbench is real creative. And over on the right, under actions, I click the edit dropdown, then I go to edit settings. And once I get into there, <clears throat> under the grade category area, I click on show more, and right here, the aggregation method. Since this course show was created yesterday, uh, we had, we've reset the default setting to natural um, about a month to month and a half ago, maybe a little earlier, um, but previous to that, it might have been come in existence as a simple way to mean of grades. Now this is the other, probably the second most popular uh, aggregation method on our system now. So if you want just a, a uh, basically 
a sum of grades. It's all, it's like I said earlier, it's known now as natural, the natural aggregation method for Moodle. Um, this is the one to go with. So start with that. And of course down here, click save changes. Um, I shared in the chat window a few minutes ago, a doc, here's the print that I'm gonna reference here in a sec. I'll just read a couple of things about the natural aggregation method, then we'll be done essentially. Um, so if you need that link again, if it didn't come through in the chat, let me know. I can also send it out via email. Basically just, just a brief explanation of what uh, Moodle is calling the natural aggregation method is that it's essentially the, the sum of all grades and it's the only type of, of aggregation method that, that does not convert the grades to percentages internally. And the natural aggregation functions as a sum of, oh, that's my squeaky chair here. Natural aggregation functions as a sum of grades when the weight boxes are left alone. And you'll see the weight boxes, um, we'll see those in, in a future segment basically. So I think wrapping up, we can say that Look, look at look at the the overall course aggregation method as being like the umbrella that that everything starts off with in your gradebook as far as the aggregation method goes. And again, here it is. Under which, if you want to, I'm going to click on cancel now. If you want to later on incorporate different aggregation methods for an individual gradable item, or for that matter, a category of gradable items, which again, we'll get into gradebook categories in a, in a future segment. You're still welcome to do so. So your overarching is the default simple summing up of, of the students' grades they've earned, underneath which optionally, if you'd like to incorporate a different aggregation method. So without risking it getting too complex at that point, uh, we can leave it at there. Um, if you have any questions, of course, you can pop it into the chat, or if you'd like, just, just continue with the email thread I started about, uh, regarding this webinar. And um, with that, I think we can probably, let me go ahead and click on my, stop the screen share for a sec here. Here we are again. Um, with that, that actually about wraps it up, what we wanted to cover. I didn't want to get into, get into it too deep and heavy here, because there's, from here, there's, dozens of, of, of ways we could go that would not be good for a, a webinar experience, basically. Um, I encourage you to, to look at the Google Doc that I've shared and read more up on, on the, the, the simple aspect of the natural aggregation method, or just think of that as just the, the simple way that, that Moodle can calculate your grades. Um, a lot of instructors are moving to a more simple gradebook whatever LMS are using it, uh, given Moodle, and just a simple way to calculate grades, just summing up the, the scores, the grades that your students earn. Um, with that, I'll stop the recording. Uh, any other questions, follow up uh, via the email thread. Um, I th thank you for joining, and be on the lookout for next week's section uh, segment. I believe we're gonna be getting into uh, gradebook categories and how to, how to deploy a, a, a good logical, um, um, process for creating gradebook categories of maybe assignments, a category for your quizzes, a category for other types of gradable items, so it kind of makes sense. Uh, thanks, I'll see you next time.